Welcome back to Virginia This Morning Live right here on CBS 6. This Saturday, the 6th, Richard Bland College of William and Mary welcome everyone to their fifth annual Pecan Festival. You have the chance to enjoy some incredibly fun things, including listening to live music and a live performance from Aiden Bryant of America's Got Talent. He's an impressive aerialist. Recently, we sat, he sat down with Bill Bevins along with Justin May from Richard Bland, sharing more details about the admission event that's happening at the same time on Saturday. Here's that conversation. This segment is sponsored by Richard Bland College of William & Mary. The fifth annual Pecan Festival is this weekend. Joining us this morning to share more about this year's festivities is Justin May, Director of Admissions at Richard Bland College, and Aiden Bryant, Teen Aerialist and Season 16 Runner-Up on America's Got Talent. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for coming in. Get to you in just a second. Uh, Justin, let's talk about this because uh, Richard Bland has such a great reputation. They are affiliated with William and Mary, but one of their claims to fame is affordability. Absolutely. Yeah, so we're one of the most affordable colleges in the state of Virginia. I know a lot of people may not be aware of that, and we also offer a lot of doors uh, that are open up beyond just, say, William and Mary, but we have transfer agreements with a number of reputable colleges and universities around the state of Virginia. So if a student's ultimate goal is to say, maybe graduate with a bachelor's degree from UVA or Virginia State or ODU, Christopher Newport, we can help kind of reverse engineer the track that they would need to take to mitigate the credit loss, which a lot of students experience when they attend other schools and try to make that transition, but also the goal of speedy graduation, getting them in their career. And that's ultimately why people go to college in the first place. Sure, get that career started. And of course, to uh, help save some money at the same time. Aiden, you're a teen aerialist. Yes. I don't know what that is. I mean, it sounds like you're up in the air somewhere, but what, mm -hmm. what does that mean? So an aerialist is like gymnastics in the air. You like do straps and hoops and silks. There's all different kinds of apparatuses, and you can do all sorts of things on them. So yeah, it's like in the air, but gymnastics at the same time. So you, you're hanging upside down at some point. And, right, yeah, and you doing... hang by your ankles, by your feet, your one hand and stuff like that. There's a lot of stuff you can do. How did you, <laughs> how'd you get started in that? Right, that so, gym class was like, uh, yeah, this is me? or Yeah, gym class was not it for me. I yeah. looked up a, a YouTube video of Pink, and she really inspired me to go outside and hang a bed sheet in the tree from my grandma's closet. <laughs> and that's when I first started practicing after school one day. And this is where I am now, and I auditioned for AGT and got, got on. second place. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, fantastic. All right, so uh, the Pecan Festival, and we have the butter toasted pecans and all of that, all the things that are going on. Aiden's going to be there. Are you in a, actually swinging from a pecan tree, or do you have an apparatus? <laughs> I have an apparatus and yeah. rigging everything. So okay, yeah. <laughs> because I was thinking about this. I've seen these tractors that have this thing to go out and grab the pecan tree and just shake it like crazy and get the pecans to fall. Right. I wonder what they did before they had the tractors. And I'm thinking maybe somebody ate and climbed, <laughs> climbed up in there. <laughs> Maybe, I thought maybe that was the tie-in. <laughs> they used to have people that climbed up in the trees and shake them. This is a fun day event for everybody, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be out there. Jessica, Nolan, and I will be there. And uh, there is a pet costume contest that we're going to work with. And uh, always look forward to that. I'm guessing maybe we'll see maybe a dachshund in a pecan outfit or something like that. Sure, it's going to be plenty. a lot of fun. Uh, Richard Bland's been around for a long time, uh, and obviously it's a junior college, as you said before, mm -hmm. but one that's very affordable and it helps people do that. Tell us a little bit about Richard Bland and what, uh, what the campus itself. Sure. So a lot of people, or the thing I hear most from people when they come on the campus is, wow, I didn't know all this was out here. You know, yeah. we're, all, we're on 750 plus acres. Um, tons of pecan trees, as we had mentioned here previously, but we've got dorms, you know, so we are a re residential living facility. Uh, we have a number of students that actually commute as well, too. So you're getting the college experience as well. And it's Virginia history, too. Uh, you mentioned to me before we even came on camera that Richard Bland was a cousin to... Thomas Jefferson. So there's the tie-in to William and Mary, and it all kind of goes in a loop there. And of course, our mascot, the statesman. So. Yeah the statesman from Richard Bland. Well, I tell you what, I'm looking forward to this. Uh, hours uh, start at about 11 a.m. on Saturday. So the Pecan Festival is gonna start at uh, 11 a.m. We actually have another event, the admissions fair running concurrent, that's gonna start at 10, registration at 9.30. And that's a good opportunity for prospective students and their families to come out 
and find a little bit more about the Richard Bland College experience and what it's like to be a student there. Right, so if you want to, if students, parents, come out, find out that great information about a, a, a great institution, mm -hmm. Richard Bland, and then go and have some pecans and take in all the exactly. festivities for that. Aiden, do you have a, a specific act you've lined up for this yeah. Saturday? So I created a routine on the Aerial Lyra, which is like an apparatus that I use, and I'll be performing at 1245. 1245. Yeah. So, yeah, you, you get in, you learn something about uh, Richard Bland, you go, you have some pecans of all types, different kinds of treats, and then you get to see you at 1245. Yep. And you'll see my mom on the golf cart pulling me up. <laughs> <laughs> she pulls you up on the golf cart. Yes. All right, can't wait to see it. Thank you both very much. Thank, Thank you very much. Looking forward to it. The, uh, the big event is this Saturday. Join in the fun. Richard Bland College of William & Mary, fifth annual Pecan Festival, this Saturday from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. For more information, visit rbc.edu and connect on Facebook at facebook.com slash Richard Bland College. And the Richard Bland College of William and Mary also will have that admissions fair taking place on Saturday the 6th from 10 a.m. until noon. So you can come out and enjoy both events and take advantage of that. Register in advance online or register in person Saturday at 9.30 a.m. And be accepted to Richard Bland College of William and Mary right on site. Don't forget, bring your transcripts, transcripts, free applications with no SAT or ACT requirements. Your free application to attend Richard Bland College of William and Mary makes you eligible to receive one of 20 $500 scholarships. Wow, it's going to be an incredible event. And we have some of the goodies that you'll find on site on Saturday. Bill said as we'll both be there. But I have been paging through this pecan recipe cookbook all mm. week. Of course, eating, eating the delicious butter toast <laughs> of pecans. Anytime you go through here, it's like no matter which page you go to, the eggnog pecan pound cake. Yum. Wow, that sounds rich. Pecan pie. <laughs> Definitely. Swedish nut crescents. I mean, they're, they're all here, and it's all fantastic recipes showcasing really the magic that's coming from this beautiful grove right on campus. I saw one recipe that I liked in there. It was like uh, cinnamon rolls with pecans. In mm. them. So, uh, yeah. I don't know why that can is still closed, you know? Now you're breaking oh, them up. Oh, well, that was uh, subtle we have hint? to talk. Oh, that's right. Okay. We mentioned, of course, the Richard Bland College of William & Mary, about 30 miles south of Richmond. Beautiful campus. This pecan grove that is there has been there for years and years and years. Mm -hmm. Over a thousand trees. Yes. And still harvested. Yeah. And the money that they raise from selling the pecans, doing the pecans, it goes back into the college. Mm -hmm. So. What a, what a great thing to have down there. It really, really is cool. And I've, I've said it this week, but if you haven't been with us, it's a really neat thing to experience when they do the harvesting mm -hmm. because that um, tractor goes up to the tree. And if you ever wondered, like, well, do they all fall out at the same time? Is it just a windstorm? What they do, happens? But they do. Th that tractor helps. That tractor helps. It jitters the tree. <laughs> and so all the pecans come out and then you get to uh, pick them up. And I don't know that I've, I've looked for, we'll see it Saturday. I don't know that I've ever seen a pecan tree. Mm, so. They're tall. They're real. Yes, incredibly tall. I've been out to the Grove several years running um, as we've previewed the event when they were able to have it. Of course, you know, they took a break mm -hmm. uh, in the last year or so. So it's a really big deal that it'll be back this year. I'm really excited, excited to see Aiden Bryant perform because an aerialist routine is so athletic and artful at the same time. And he's from that area, from Prince George. So that they probably have a lot of hometown folks there cheering him on. We will too. Mm. Heavenly brownies, pecan pie squares, it's all right here. Stay tuned, we'll share our final thoughts on today's show coming up in less than three minutes. Please open. Oh, good. It is open. <laughs>